It's Hop Along Cassidy. With action and suspense, out of the Old West comes the most famous hero of them all, Hop Along Cassidy, starring William Boyd. The ring of the silver spurs heralds the most amazing man ever to ride the prairies of the early West, Hop Along Cassidy. This famous hero thrills his 60 million fans with action and dangerous adventure. In the role of Hop Along Cassidy is the popular star of the motion picture series, William Boyd. And appearing as that laughable old character, California, is Andy Clyde. Now to our story, The Green Valley Payoff. The afternoon sunlight slanted in through the small window of the sheriff's office, lit on the blonde thatch of hair that topped off the sullen young man seated on the wooden chair in the middle of the room. Sheriff Joe Perry rolled a smoke, lit it, then turned to his deputy. Pomeroy? Yeah, Sheriff? Try again. Okay. I think it's any use. It's no use, I tell you. I don't know about that. I know you're short on brains, Pomeroy, but Shut when up. you get it through that thick skull of yours that I can't tell you what I don't know myself... Frank! Ellie, now you keep out of this. Go on home. I will and... not keep out of it. What are they doing to you? We're asking him a few questions, Miss Ellie. About that night riding bunch of bank robbers he runs around with. Ellie, I told you to I'm go home. I'm staying right here. You listen to me, Sheriff. Frank did run around with them once, and he paid for it with two years in jail. That's behind him now. You think so? He's left them for good. He's going to ranch, and after we're married, and then Miss we're... Ellie, I'm sorry to say this, but I don't think that Green Valley gang looks at it that way. Frank don't look at it that way either. Now, listen, Palmer. You were in on the last one, Frank. I stood lookout for him because they swore they'd harm Ellie if it didn't. The fact remains, Frank, that bunch has over $100,000 hid away somewhere, but a couple of banks and a Wells Fargo company would like to get back. You got a share in it, and you're going to tell us where it is. But I don't know where it is. Monty and the boss are the only ones who know where it's hid. Monty? Yeah. Short for Montana. That's the only name he goes by. Lord knows who the boss is. I've never seen him or heard his name. You're a throat cutting lying crook, Frank, and I'm going to take Pomeroy, you ass Put back there, Frank. Go of me. Oh, let go of him, Pomeroy. Ellie, put down that inkwell. Uh, oh, oh, my eyes. Good Lord, you got ink all over him. Go oh. on, Pomeroy, get your face oh. in some water. Oh. Be all right. Be all right when you wash him out. Now, young lady. Don't you young lady me, Sheriff. Ellie, you've done enough. Please, get out of here. Frank! I know it's wrong, but we've got to put up with it because it's the law. Now, run on home before the Sheriff decides to put you away, too. I was about to say them very words. All right, Frank. I... I'm sorry, Sheriff. Don't apologize to me. It's Pomeroy's face you blacked up. A real spitfire, ain't she? Let's leave her out of it, shall we, Sheriff? Yeah. You better get back to your cell. I know when I'm late. Okay. Pomeroy. Yeah? You better now? Uh, not much better. Take Frank back to his cell, will you? Come on, Frank. Hmm. There's got to be another way. If I could just find someone with enough spunk to... Sheriff. Huh? Hoppy. Sheriff Joe Barry. Geosophy. Hop along, Cassidy. Oh, you're the answer to a maiden's prayer. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever been called that, Joe. Uh, I ain't one to put much stock in Providence, Hoppy. But you sure come to me in my hour of need. What are you talking about? Come sit down. I want to tell you about a job I got for you. <laughs> Now back to Hop Along Cassidy and the Green Valley Payoff. <laughs> Sheriff Joe Perry is under pressure from a group of outraged bankers in the Express Company who are insisting he track down the Green Valley gang and over $100,000 in loot, the proceeds of a series of robberies they engineered in the past few months. 
The first break came with the arrest of Frank Lawler, one of the members of the gang, but Frank either knows nothing or simply isn't talking. So there had to be another way. The next afternoon, Hopalong Cassidy and California Carlson stopped for a moment in front of the state bank in the center of town. You better stand right here, California. Mind if I mention I'm a mite uneasy? <laughs> Relax, will you? Sure, sure, all in the day's work. Robbing a few banks, shooting up a couple of citizens. Never or... mind that. Just make sure no one comes in who's not supposed to, you understand? I don't understand nothing, but I'll do it. Uh, when you look at me with them beautiful blue eyes, you just can't say no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wish me luck. As the French say, uh, verde poise. <clears throat> What do you have? Everything you got and make it fast. What? Hurry up now. Fork it over. The six guns are might impatient. <laughs> yes, sir. That all of it? Yes, sir. So help me. Okay. Stay right where you are with your hands up and don't move until I'm out of here. You understand? Yes, sir. Stay where you are. Put him up now. I got you covered. Oh! Oh! Sheriff! Take it easy, Sheriff. Everything's all right. Yeah, looks like I got this coyote in the shoulder. Oh. Give me a hand, Yeller. Let's get him over to the jailhouse. All right, everybody. Clear out. Shooting's over. What's your name, pal? Make any difference? Oh, kind of nice to know who your cellmate is. Bill Carney. What's yours? Frank. Frank Lawler. I understand you let the sheriff get the drop on you this afternoon. You don't understand right. My gun jammed. <laughs> you don't believe it? I didn't say that. Nick you on the shoulder? Yeah. Not bad. Well, it won't jam next time. Might not be any next time. Oh, yes, there will. When? Tonight. Hmm? I'm getting tired of this jailhouse already. In fact, I'll get going around midnight. It's nice if you can manage it. Don't worry, I can. You, uh, like to come along? I don't know. What's the matter? Do you like it in here? Funny thing, Carney. Don't seem to matter much whether I'm in jail or out of it. It's a prison either way. Ah, that's a queer one. Well, it's a cinch I'm not getting anywhere sitting here. Well, what about it? I'll go along. When are we leaving? Midnight, I said. Any particular way? Yeah. My partner will slip a six-gun up through the bars just before 12. At 12, the sheriff will make a round of check. Then what? I think I can persuade him to open the door, don't you? Yeah. Only one thing. What happens if the sheriff draws on you? What do you think? Okay, count me out. I'm not getting mixed up in any killing. Don't worry, there won't be any killing. Now listen, here's how it'll work. At ten minutes to twelve, my partner will be out of the room. Here he comes. Easy now. Dangerously. Remember what I said. About I you. heard you. Gun ready? Yeah. Shut up. You fellas all right in there? Put up your hand, Sheriff. I got a 44 in your face. Connie! Keep him up now. Lawler. Yeah? Get his gun. Okay. I got him. Wait a minute, Connie. You won't get away with this. Shut up. Now open the door. Well, what if I don't? I'll blow you right out of your own jailhouse. Hurry it up. All right, Tony. Now get in there. Move. I'm moving. Come on, Lawler. He's got another gun. Uh, Connie, shut I up. I shouldn't have done that. I should have known better. Now get going. The horses are waiting outside. California. California. Come on, 
Come, Sheriff. Yeah. Come and get me out of here. Yeah. How'd it come off? Perfect. Listen. There they go. <laughs> you know, if I didn't know Hopalong Cassidy was a straight-up cowpoke, I'd swear he knows more about bank robbing and jail busting than he's telling. <laughs> Maybe he's practicing up for when a bad year hits the bar, 20. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. Time you got my, uh, my corpse over to Doc Willard's. Got to handle my death according to law, you know. <laughs> Better put some more wood on the fire, Frank. Yeah. You sure it's safe? What? The fire. Oh, it's safe, all right. My pal's meeting this draw all the time. Pal? Ah, uh, skip it. You sound like you're sore at somebody. I'm sore at the world. Why? Folks won't leave me alone, that's why. You make a mistake when you're a kid and you're through for good. They shove a hot brand on your hip the minute you go through those prison doors and it stays there till you die. Hmm. It's a funny way to talk. Yeah, you wouldn't know what I'm talking about. I think I do. You want to let your old bunch down, don't you? Why do you think I brought you here to wait for them? I don't know. Can't figure it out. I've tried to break loose, but they won't let me. People down there in town won't have me back, and the bunch won't let me go. So, here I am. Yeah? For good. Why? You fixed that when you shot the sheriff. You know that, don't you? Well, I had to, or he'd have nailed us with that shoulder gun of his. Yeah, yeah, I reckon so. I wonder about Ellie. I wonder if... If what? Ah, nothing. She'll find herself a nice young homesteader somewhere. She'll be all right. <laughs> From what I hear, she can take care of herself. Hey, hold it. What's the matter? Listen. Yeah. Yeah, what? Just sit right still and keep your hands away from your gun belt. Stay here. <laughs> Hello, Marty. Punk. Who's your friend? His name's Carney. Done me a favor tonight. Carney. Bill Carney, if you're interested. Yeah. I'm interested. We're both interested. What are you doing here, Carney? Keeping warm. Or at least I was till you stepped in front of the fire. Maybe you ain't warm enough, Carney. Maybe we are. Get up, woman. Move aside. I want to see Connie's face. Yeah. Quite a face, isn't it? Yeah. Talks a lot. Maybe too much, huh, Money? Yeah. Maybe too much. Maybe like the punk here, it spouts when you press a button. I didn't talk to the sheriff, if that's what you mean. That's what I mean. How could I tell him what I don't know? You could tell him about Money here. You could tell him about me. Get up, punk. What for? I said get up. Okay, Marty. What now? You're going for a walk. Now, listen, Marty. Shut your lying mouth. He spilled everything to the sheriff this afternoon. I tell you, I didn't. Get your hands off of Why, you... Oh. Okay, stranger. You boys made up your minds yet? Okay. Okay, Connie. Frisk him, Frank. Mm-hmm. Safe with the whiskers as a shoulder gun. Yeah. You're biting off a big word, Connie. Maybe you shouldn't be talking right now. Got him, Frank? Yeah. Put him down there next to the fire. I think our friends might be more sociable with their fangs pulled. All right. Now let's all sit around the fire and talk nice and friendly. <laughs> with that 44 staring us in the face? Okay. That's the way you want it. There's my guns on the heap, too. Sit down. Mm. Ah, uh, first off, Frank didn't spill to the sheriff, and even if he did, it wouldn't matter now. Huh? Why not? Because I left him on the floor of the jailhouse with a forty-four slug in his head. Huh? Hey. You mean you... Yeah. You get me out of a job at the state bank this afternoon, and I didn't like it. Yeah. <laughs> that makes it a mite different. Funny, huh? Shake hands, Connie. Uh, over this way. Other side of the fire. We'll just let the guns lay. <laughs> Ah, uh, forget about that, Connie. We thought we... Yeah, we, uh, we apologize. 
Matter of fact, woman, don't you think... I uh, know just what you're going to say. Yeah. I, uh... I think we could use a man like you, Connie. What about it? I don't know. Depends on how well you're doing. <laughs> we do all right. Matter of fact, we do exceptional well. Yeah, there's a hundred thousand dollars hid away right now. Shut up. We'll, uh, yeah, we, we'll get to that later. After we talk to the boss. You, uh, you available, Connie? In case he decides to hire you? Who is he? Oh, we, we just call him the boss. That's the name he likes best. Okay, that's just what I'll call him then. The boss. Now back to Hop Along Cassidy and the Green Valley Payoff. It is two in the morning now as the four men sit around the flickering fire in a mountain draw not far from town. On one side of the fire are Bowman and Monty, suspicious, sullen, and watchful. On the other side, Frank and Hoppy. Hoppy being mighty careful to keep up the pretense of being Bill Carney, the sheriff killer. He's late, Monty. He'll get here. I don't like this waiting. What are they talking about? Of course. Hmm. Uh, what happens when he gets here, Monty? Uh, he's, uh, <laughs> working out a date for us. A date? Yeah. With the Wells Fargo in Cedar Grove. Wait. Stay right where you are. Come on, boy. I'll bet you can go down the mountain. Well, well here he know. is. Yeah. Does he always wear that mask? I don't know. First time I ever seen him. I... Hey, wait. Huh? I know who he is. Sure. Frank. Frank, listen to me. What? Do you really want to break loose? Huh? Did you mean that about Ellie and wanting to go straight? Yeah. Well, you got a chance to show it right now. What do you mean? I've got to trust you, Frank. I've got to take a chance. That whole thing with the sheriff this afternoon was paid. I'm not Connie. I'm Hopalong Cassidy. Cassidy? Yeah. Are you with me, Frank? Sure, I'm with you. Good. Hold it. There he goes. What's up, Monty? Peter Grover's out. He's splitting up. Huh? Thanks to you, Connie, and that job you did on the sheriff. Yeah. Town's gone crazy over it. They're rounding up a posse now. What about the money? Don't worry, punk. You'll get your share. We're meeting the boss in an hour to make the split. Where? <laughs> Curious, ain't he? Yeah. Well, don't make no difference now. Up at the cave on Eagle Peak, kid. Ten minute ride from here. All right. Better saddle up now so we'll all be ready when the time comes. <laughs> How'd you make out, California? Too late. Posse just pulled out with Pomeroy riding in the lead. Confound it, they'll ruin everything. I should have put Pomeroy in on it. They'll run them outlaws clean out of the county and the money with them. Well, <clears throat> you're a mighty popular man around here, Sheriff. They took your death kind of hard, mm -hmm. you know. Only one thing to do. I gotta ride out there and spill it. Hoppy might get hurt if... Ah, uh, Hoppy's been in tight spots before. I wouldn't Ah, that worry. mob's howling for blood. He'll shoot on sight. Well, okay, I'll saddle up for you. Your horse is out of the hitch rack and all. No, it ain't. Cassidy stole it when he broke jail tonight. Huh? Ain't it a bay with three white feet? Yeah, it's, but... Well, he's out of the hitch rack now. I'll tell you, I just saw him. You're seeing things, California. Let's take a look. Danged. It's Jerry, all right. Copy must have turned him loose. Now, why... What, Sheriff? Huh? Now, look here. I know tied to the saddle. Let me see it. Come on, California. We gotta catch that posse before it gets to Eagle Peak. And there ain't much time.
Oh, oh. Better leave the horses here. What time is it, Foreman? Quarter three? Yeah, he ought to be there now. Where's the cave from here? Around the shoulder behind that big overhang. Oh, and, uh, Connie. Yeah? That was a mighty bad piece of luck. Your horse taken off that way. That posse will likely run you down. Ah, there's a ranch below here. I'll double up with Frank that far, then pick up another one. Quit the gather. Let's get this over with. Okay, okay. Keep your shirt on. You go first, Connie. Then the punk. Then Bowman and me. Reckon you'd better go first. I don't know the trail. That why? Yeah, that's why. Go ahead. Okay. Come on, Bowman. Hey, ambush! Get down, Bowman. Oh! Got me. Go ahead, Connie. The cave. This way, Frank. Yeah. They were waiting for us. Keep down. That way. Go on, inside. Yeah. Get down in that clump of trees. Let him have it, Frank. Yeah. It's a posse. How oh, in thunder did they know we'd be here? How the What's devil... the matter? Yeah. I know why. Yeah. It's a double cross. Huh? The money. It's gone. That's why he made us wait over there. He was setting up a trap. The boss? Yeah. Yeah, the boss. Well, he ain't gonna get away with this one. Hey! Hey, down there! We give up! We want to come out. You're coming out, all right. Listen, Pomeroy. You're coming out the way we want you to come out, you sheriff killer. Hey, first. Get up, get get up. Away. Oh. Double crossing. Right. They get him? Yeah. Well, that leaves us, Cassidy. What now? We hold him off as long as we can, Frank. And hope. Hear that, Sheriff? Yeah, they're at the foot of the peak. Come on. Hold it, boys, hold it. We can't shoot them out, we'll smoke them out. All right, come on, back away. I'm going to set fire to the brush. Just a minute, Pomeroy. Sheriff! Why, Sheriff? Hold it, everyone. As you see, I'm a pretty lively corpse. Me and Hopalong Cassidy staged the robbery and jailbreak, hoping we'd get the leader of this Green Valley gang to show his hand. He did. I don't reckon we'll need to smoke anyone out now, Pomeroy, since we got what we went after already, didn't we? I guess I'm partly to blame for being blind as a bat at high noon, for scouring six counties for the brains of this Green Valley bunch, while he was sitting in my own office as deputy. Come on, Pomeroy. I reckon you'll get what you wasn't aiming to give the boys in your own gang. A fair trial in a court of justice. After all, we want to hang you. Legal. Now back to Hopalong Cassidy. It's only a week since the gunfight at Eagle Peak, but it's been an important one for Frank Lawler and Ellie McClure. Hoppy in California, on their way back to the Bar 20 now, are stopping in to say goodbye. Gosh, hate to see you go, Hoppy. <laughs> ah, the cow business is just like anything else, Frank. Leave it alone for a couple of shakes and you got trouble. Uh, but uh, you'll find that out with that hundred head you're planning to buy. Thanks to you. You know, I had no claim on that reward money, Hoppy. Well, maybe not. But I didn't either. Do, doggone, uh, maybe I should uh, put in a claim, huh? Uh. <laughs> Fred, not California. Hmm. It belongs to Ellie. Me? Yep. You wanted a new start for Frank Ellie and you got it. All by yourself. Of course, you didn't know it at the time, 
But you put that reward money in his pocket when you threw that inkwell in Pomeroy's face. <laughs> That's what you're getting at, huh? Yeah. We never would have seen past that mask of his if it hadn't been for the ink stain on his chin. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye from Hopalong Cassidy. Hoppy and California are hitting the trail homeward again, and after this little adventure, the Bar 20 is going to be a restful sight. Hope you enjoyed this friendly visit and that you'll remember to tune in next time these two fighting cowboys get involved in another thrilling escapade. Hopalong Cassidy, starring William Boyd, is transcribed and produced in the West by Walter White, Jr. The Green Valley Payoff was written by Harold Swanton. All stories are based upon the characters created by Clarence E. Mulford. This is a Commodore production.